Yeah, I love big, big old swords. And we're not <laughs> seeing swords just yet, though, because we're seeing Pokemon Trainer versus Rob and Sada versus 8 Bit Man to start us off tonight. So I've seen a few analyses of these matchups and really the weakness of Pokemon Trainer, a lot of players have said, is his aerial mobility and just mobility in general of all three of the characters is not phenomenal. And when you have a character that thrives on aerial combos like Rob that can snipe you off the side at super low percents, it may very well be an uphill slope for Sada to climb. Yeah, two excellent characters. As, as you said, it's that aerial stuff that can make the difference. I'm interested to see how Ivysaur will play that game with the Razor Leaf and kind of a lot of Bullet Seeds, surprisingly. Uh, a neutral special is not something you see very often from Ivysaur, so seeing it so often out of the gate is pretty interesting to see. Very true, yeah. I think twice in a row, that's about as often as I typically see in a three-game set. Exactly. Oh, and no. Then immediately <laughs> spiked. There was no way getting out of this. The second that he used up his double jump, 8-Bit Man had that in the bag. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm liking the, the gyro play from Sada, or Sada, depending on how you want to pronounce it. But, oh, the fly actually right up off the top, securing that stock on 8-Bitman, even it up 2-2. Two, two. And now it looks like Squirtle's time to play once more. But this is a light character. You have to be super careful off stage. Ivysaur, no double jump. The gyro gets him, and then the rotor arms. You're going to have to switch to Charizard there and Flare Blitz back. Very good recovery by Sada. Force him to an awkward spot, but look at the damage by 8-Bitman. If a man has a great lead, back air secures it. We are barely over a minute into this game, and Sad is already on his last stock. You can, as you said, Pokemon Trainer can struggle, and Ape Man seems to kind of be doing excellent work so far. So, a couple of those downers. Every time I see Rob shooting at that downer, I am terrified. As rightly you should be. Again, rotor arms off stage. Sad trying to go in for a spike that time, not quite working out. Neutral air, up air breakout by Ape Man. This is looking really rough for Sada. He has to go ahead and get a big combo or an early kill. And you can do that with Charizard, but not in these awkward spots when you're forced to up B out of combos for your life. Yeah, I like that. You know, up B is a real quick one. No tech coming from a Bitman. This could be a quick cleanup for Sada, but unfortunately has to let him come back. The tip of that back here sending him from coast to coast. But a Bitman lives another day. Rob deceptively heavy, so got to keep that in mind. The up smash also not even taking it. So... Ape Man's holding on to the stock as best he can as he's trying to secure it from Sada. Couple neutral air combos, but that one is not safe on shield. Immediate up smash spells the stock, and only 64%. We've both seen these characters in Charizard make these comebacks relatively easily. Yeah, for sure. I gotta say, it's not nothing kind of crazy to see that. 79% kind of getting juggled by a Man is kind of rough, but it's doable. I like that back throw, back air conversion. 44% now. And 8 Man's off stage, so Sada's looking for something aggressive, like right here. And he bet, he bet it all. Good down air attempt, but not quite working out for 8 Man. Good back air now, knocking him away. I like that jump to get rid of that gyro. And this is actually pretty scary for both of them. Sada's kind of being stuck at ledge here repeatedly. Grabs the gyro, actually, forcing it away, but still just kind of in disadvantage and getting blocked by that. And surviving, actually. That could have been a kill for 8 Man if he was quick enough to pull the trigger, but not quite. Back air getting blocked the first time by the gyro, but the second time, look at the knockback on that. If that's hit at oh. edge, that might be the end of the stock, but instead, an up smash out of shield spell, the end of the game right there as 8 Man takes it. And a bit of a nail biter right there. Yeah, it was rather close, I will say. I liked the idea of the flamethrower there to kind of force that shield, but when you're caught between a gyro and a rob place, you, the only way to go is butt up because of that up smash. That's always such a rough spot when you find yourself directly in between the gyro and the rob, because you know that if you toss out anything that manipulates your hurtbox even the slightest bit, you'd get tapped by the gyro, knocked out of whatever you're trying to do, and typically knocked off the stage by rob. It is a rather unpleasant set of circumstances to be in. I have to agree with you, Scabs. But there is always a game two. There's always a chance for Sada to come back. And I like how this arena is technically a doubles arena so far. That's, True, I think that's what the settings are. Their buddy is, so hey, if, if we want to run some dubs, get the get the next set in here. Yo, I miss dubs. Dubs in, are so much fun. Like a lot of people don't really dig it all that much because it gets super chaotic, but I think on especially on the bigger stages, I love doubles in, in Ultimate. It's not as fun as like old school doubles matches, but it's still like you can do so many crazy combos and a lot of characters keep and carry momentum. You can just drive somebody all the way off stage. But Enough about the doubles, man. We got to talk about this one. Let it rain. What do you think the counter pick might be here in game two? You know, Rob usually would like those stages that are larger, gives him more time to shoot lasers in camp, like Town and City, like Kalos. So maybe some more smaller, like Smashville. Like even Pokemon Stadium 2 isn't inherently bad. 
for, for a pick like this. So it's, I can see it going a number of ways, but you kind of want to close the distance as Pokemon Trainer because Squirtle likes those those combos, that sick combo game. I start to play the neutral a little bit with that Razor Leaf, with grabs as well, and Charizard's just a hard-hitting boy that we're seeing a lot of from Sata. So smaller stage, the better, in my opinion. I think you're right there. Keep them away from stages, though, that have those narrow side blast zones. We've already seen what 8-Bit Man can do comboing into rotor arms, and instead we go to perhaps 8-Bit Man's favorite stage. We see him counterfeit town so often because of those narrow side blast zones. I would not be surprised if we see Sata make an early exit here. Game 1, he got caught off stage early using his double jump swap to see if he can tighten up Game 2. As you said, these small blast zones can be a big detriment to either character. If Sada can get it moving, he can make some quick stock work out of it. But this, again, Ape Man loves to go here, and it's a great stage for Rob to open up a camp. So if Sada can get those grabs and close that distance, all the power to him. But right now, he's too busy kind of throwing out his side Bs towards that gyro and eating percentage for it. That drag down there was actually super sick by Ape Man. It should be drag down up air, but he could not connect out of it. Instead, Sada getting a missed tech into back air to get some stage control back. Has to fight back in the corner. Double forward air. No jump, but the fly gets him back. And then the get up attack, seizing space. Ape Man unable to really get these combos to connect fully, but Sada still just overwhelmed by Ape Bit Man's offensive barrage. It's so uh, painful to see kind of Seta not be able to kind of execute properly and get killed off the top for it. But at the same time, I really commend him for his aggressive offstage maneuvers. He loves fighting from the corner. You can see him just throwing out every option under the sun. Get a percentage from a Bitman, but unfortunately not enough. This is really vulnerable. Oh, the double grab whiffing and that jab nearly actually finishes it off. Awkward spot that Aiden Man sliding underneath Sata's options manages to get back to stage. Can't get the double forward air to connect either. That would have spelt doom. It really would have. And so Sada's just looking for anything. Desperate to close out this stock in a timely fashion. I'm loving the aggression from him, but it's just, it's not doing enough. So hopefully, I mean, this is kind of the grab territory. Up smash will do it as well, especially Ape Man trying to hit that shield. Not going to work out for him. And two stocks apiece, but Sada still has to kind of fight back. The one thing I really respect about Sada's playstyle is that he's often fighting from behind, but he makes it close. Like, he's only got 60% when Ape Man really looked like he was opening up a big lead there, stock one. And the same thing happened on game one, too. Sada knows how to play from behind. Yeah, and also, I love the ability from Sada to kind of get around the gyro. Also, ability to go very deep there. That was a re-grab, managed to get back safely, but this should be a kill. Yes, sir. Dies to that up smash. And now Sada possibly on his winner side stock. Guys, I got a neutral air out of shield, but no Rob too quick for that. And just the raw side B. Okay, bit. Spinning arms coming out from powerful gyro. Working hard. I, I love in the mix-ups now for Ape-Man. Kind of, yeah, it was really just tricking up the timing, causing Sada even more on the defensive than he's already been this entire set. So has to be careful. Again, up smash on a shield, getting that percentage, helping Sada out. That was a please, please hit uh, Flare Blitz. That was a desperation Definitely. move. Definitely, that man's like, yo, I need I need to stock on now. He really does. That's going to be the Dragon Claw forward air coming out. Not going to kill. 93% though. A couple of barely out up smashes. No tech. Sada's just stuck at ledge. And the forward smash did not connect. Ape Man looking just for that final kill option right now. But it looks like he's going to have plenty of opportunities. Only at 93% on his second stock. Sada needs to go ahead and clean this one up and then immediately start off a crazy combo to make this within reach. Look at that up smash. Down tilt follow up and actually catches him with the side B to take the set. A bit, man. Spinning his way to the next round of winners. What an option. Just immediately saying, I don't think you're ready to tech this. I don't think you're going to hit a single button. I'm going to slowly walk off platform and send you to the blast zone.